Papillon Lefevre syndrome is a rare autosomal recessive disorder characterized by diffuse palmoplantar keratoderma and precocious aggressive periodontitis which leads to premature loss of both the dentitions. The incidence of PLS is 1 to 4 per million with no sex and racial predominance. About one third of the cases were reported in consanguineous offsprings. Dentists play a significant role in the diagnosis and management of PLS as there are periodontal destruction in an early age and an early eruption of permanent teeth. It is mainly caused by mutations of the Cathepsin C gene. In clinical presentation, the main oral features are severe gingival stomatitis and periodontitis. The characteristic oral manifestations are hypermobility and premature exfoliation of teeth without signs of root resorption and the child becomes completely edentulous with normal gingiva. As the permanent teeth erupt, the same sequence of events recurs leading to exfoliation of the same. Skin lesions of PLS are usually manifested simultaneously with oral manifestations. Palms and soles are usually affected. Dorsal surface of fingers and toes, elbows, knees are less severely affected. Patient's radiographs shows severe loss of alveolar bone and teeth appear to be floating in air. Main aim of dental treatment is to eliminate the reservoir of causative organisms to control destruction of periodontium. Several treatment modalities have been suggested such as scaling and root planing, oral hygiene instructions and antibiotic treatment therapy. Teeth with poor prognosis are extracted to create a pathogen free environment for eruption of permanent teeth. To restore masticatory function, prosthetic approach is necessary. The prosthetic approach is an A-specific treatment done with removable prosthesis, conventional, modified, implant supported, complete dentures, over dentures and combination of these based on chief complaint of the patient, patient's expectations, availability of alveolar bone, affordability of the patient. For long term prognosis of oral rehabilitation, osseo integrated implants are used. Oral retinoids proven to be beneficial in treating both dental and skin lesions of PLS. To conclude, early diagnosis of PLS associated periodontitis and institution of appropriate periodontal treatment might improve prognosis for the dentition. The prosthetic approach provides psychological and social benefit to the patient by restoring not only the function but also the aesthetic appearance.